Hello, I wanted to uh, show you an updated video of a mobile application that we're building for data collection. This is um, something which uh, allows users to uh, add, delete and edit data both online and offline. It's an application which runs on Android in this case and on an iPad as well. Indeed it would run on a Blackberry if, if that was required. So it's a single cross-platform application. It's installed Let's just walk you through what we're looking at at the moment. As I've mentioned, it's a, it's a web map which is um, served up from ArcGIS Online. We've got shapefiles which have been published here and um, there is a layer from ArcGIS Server which is an editable layer. When we look through the controls we've included at the moment in the application, we've got a TOC or a table of contents which allows us to turn layers on and off. There's the turning on and off of the base layer and we can turn off all of the other layers. We can zoom into the map with, with uh, finger gestures and get attribute information about those particular features. We can also geolocate. In this case, this is a, a map of Beirut. We're clearly not in Beirut when you, and you'll see that as we zoom to our current location. So there we are, we're actually in Salt Lake City. There's a there's a, a point on the map which marks where we currently are. Should we be moving that, that will actually update. So we're making regular calls to the uh, satellite to update the GPS on this particular device. Let's go back to full extent which will take us back to Beirut. Now there is an option in here to edit and we'll show, I'll show you this in, the, in online mode and then we'll actually do some physical edits in offline. So if we tap that point there, we actually get the features that we can add to that particular feature layer um, listed on the left hand side. What we're going to do is do the same thing but we're going to do it in offline mode. So let's just turn this off and we'll go into offline mode. Now we've allowed users to actually select offline as an option here so when if, if this button is clicked just here it gives the option to load the online maps or the offline maps now the reason we did this was because sometimes users get into areas which have still got network con connectivity but it's poor connectivity if you go in the offline mode it will improve the performance dramatic dramatically of the application so let's just hit that load offline maps there's a delay as it uh, actually loads the map. Now we're going into offline mode here. One thing you'll immediately notice is the base map disappears. Now we have uh, got a base map for this particular offline instance. It's actually a top called a tile package, something that's generated in um, ArcMap 10.1, and it actually resides locally on the device. Um, there are licensing issues with base map data, so we didn't include it here since we didn't want to give a false impression that you can just very easily generate TPKs. Um, you'll need to pay a licensing fee to actually generate a TPK of base map data. Um, but this application supports TPKs and had we included that loading TPK here, you would see a backdrop to this um, application. So let's just see if it's if fully interactive, which it is, as you can see. It's, it's styled in exactly the same way as the online map is. Now let's just let's not uh, play tricks here. Let's just make sure that uh, we're showing you correctly that this is actually offline. So let's actually take the device offline. Like I said, we've we've loaded uh, we've loaded layers in uh, off of the device, but we're still online. So let's just go back and uh, set it to airplane mode, and um, and there we are. We now are fully offline. You can see in the bottom hand, right, right hand corner if, if it's clear enough is an aeroplane. So that shows you that you actually have no connectivity online. So let's again interact with this and just make sure that we're seeing that it is fully offline and it's fully interactive. You can, we can zoom it, we can pan it. Um, and if my finger taps any good we can actually get attributes as well. So exactly the same functionality as if we were online we're offline. You can see the layer list on the right hand side is altered slightly as well. Um, again a reflection of our offline state. Um, let's now go to that edit tool again. Now we showed you um, how it looked when you tapped it. There are, our, there are our editable features, those that we can add, delete and edit on the map. Let's just take an example of, of a tree. Um, this in this case it's, it's, it's it's uh, warnings of damage and sewer and sidewalk problems. 
So that's that's the those are the features you can add. We're just going to add this particular feature here. So let's add that tree to the map. There it is. Now what you've actually seen popping up here is the attributes of that uh, feature. So we can add data here to um, be included as part of that particular feature. In this case, we're not going to do that. We're just going to OK it and there it is. So in the in offline mode, we've added that feature now. We all need to go back onto online mode and update the server with that feature to that, for that to actually stick. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to close, let's just close that out. Let's tap our layers and our online and let's just uh, load the online maps as well. Oh, one thing I forgot, we're still offline. Let us go back online. There we go. And then we'll go here and we'll load the map again. And it should come back online. We should be getting that base map data any second. Maybe it doesn't want to do it. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay. For some reason it was slow in loading. So uh, so there it is. We're back online, and um, we've loaded the base map data again. The look and feel is exactly the same. But you'll notice that there's no tree there. So let's go ahead. What we've done is we've actually added the, the ability to manually edit those feet, manually update the server. So instead of automatically doing it, we're giving the user the option just to do it manually. So if we tap that point there, you'll see immediately the server's updated and there's the tree that's just appeared. So we've gone from offline mode to online mode quite seamlessly. Um, styling wise, it's the same. Um, editable tools is exactly the same. In this case, as I've mentioned, we're using ArcGIS Server and the Feature Server piece of that to do this work. So that layer that we've updated is an ArcGIS Server. What we'll show in the next video is how you can do exactly the same thing but without, GIS, without ArcGIS Server. And in that case, it's taking advantage of hosted feature services within ArcGIS Online. Thanks for watching.